Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to day 17 of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge hosted by Carrie Griffiths. I will put the link down below to his channel. If you are not following him, you might want to take a look at the things he's doing. It's really a lot of fun. So I have, you notice I have only five cards here because I only have five cards left in the uh, floral section of my month. My first half of the month I did butterfly, or first third of the month I did butterflies. The second third I'm doing floral and the third third I'm doing houses. So I picked out the five cards that I know that I want, or the backgrounds that I know that I want to do floral with. And so that's what I have here today. And today we're just going to pick one. Okay, so this is a, a brayer off sheet. So I want to add something to it. And I have this left over from yesterday. I told you it would come in handy. I really do like that. This is just on gift wrap tissue paper. And it is a sheet of that I did with a fern from my garden. My, okay, let go of me a little bit there. Got some static electricity going on here today. So let's put the fern down as part. Oop, I took, missed the edge, but that's okay. Do I want them over here? Cover up that white spot on the edge? I think I do. I was going to put them on the other side, but when I did that, I really like how it comes in here. So I'm using Penny and Gear glue stick for the tissue paper part. And I will go back to my regular glue stick, my Elmer's glue purple. Oh, shoot. This is when you're working with tissue paper, sometimes it can be good see. So I have ripped it and it's not a big deal because I will put that part down. Let me finish doing this section and I will put it here. I don't have a number 17 out at this point because I don't have a number 17. So we're going to have to figure out something else to do for our number today. There we go. You almost can't, tell if, if actually you can't even tell where it was. Okay, do I want you over here? Yeah, let's put you over here a little bit more. Come on. You do have a little bit of time to play with it, so that's a good thing. All right, you're going away. I'm not overly fond of you. We're going to get out the trusty disappearing purple. There we go. So we have a little bit of jelly print on there, plus we have the jelly print brayer off sheet. So that part is uh, secure. Now we need a flower. Okay, let me, I'm just moving some papers out of my way here to get those out of the way. Okay, I have these nice big flowers. I also want a ticket. I think I want, a, do I want a green ticket? No, I want a yellow ticket. Um, Michael's had these, the big case with all these different color pieces in it on sale. That's one of the larger ones. It's got mixed in with my little ones. And then I have little itty bitty ones. So these again are from the Junk Journal Studio. I absolutely love them. I use them a lot. And if you have been watching my videos, you know that. Okay, let me set those aside for a minute and my top over there. Still not sure what I'm going to do with my flower. Um, just looking to see if there's a better green one. I kind of like that one a little bit better. It, well, oh look, it's the same. It's the same thing. This one's in yellow, this one's in green. Um, do I want a different yellow one? Maybe I want a different yellow one. There we go. Just use a different yellow one. Because I do like that green one. And I can put that there. Today's 17, so I have to figure out how to put a 17. Um, now do I want them there or do I want them up here? 
I guess it depends on what I get for my big flower. Let me see what I'm going to do for my big flower. Now you, I had from before, and I still like you. Yeah, I still like you a lot because I put my 17. I've been putting my number down here a lot, so let's put the number up here. We gotta figure out how to do this, or we do that. So many possibilities. This is what's so cool about these. You know what I'm going to start with, though? I am going to round these edges. I want these this to be a rounded edge one. I haven't done a rounded edge one in a while, um, for a couple of days, so I think it's time we do a rounded edge one. And I round it now rather than later, because if I don't, I will put something up in that corner, and then you won't be able to see it because I will have cut it off. You know, I'm, I'm more likely to do that and then cut it off. So let's put this No, I think I'm going to be putting my number down there. Okay, pausing while I get my numbers out. Okay, I'm starting up again and I have my numbers, my number 17. And I have Shaded Spruce. This is, a, it's called a stamping spot from Stamping Up. Um, I got it last year in a gift. So I'm going to try it today. So let's grab my stamping off page. And I want the number first. Okay. I know this opens. There it goes. I want my number first because I want it to say number. Okay, one. Let's see if I can do a better job with this than I did with the ten. One. I'm using the text down here in on the page because this is a book page as my guideline. Seven. Ah, there. See, practice and taking my time works. Of course, now I got ink on my self, but that's all right. All right, I clean those off in a bit. Get rid of that. Let's go ahead and glue these puppies down. Nope. Um, let me grab my piece here. That's not even a little bit centered. And we're going to go ahead and ink while I have it out. This is um, Shaded Spruce from Stamping Up is the color. I do like the Stampin' Up! inks. I will tell you that the normal Stampin' Up! flip things, I have a terrible time opening them. I just can never seem to get them to open the right way. And let's do this while we're here. While we have it out, we're going to go ahead and just ink that up. A Shaded Spruce is a little bit... Um, it's got a little bit of blue in it. I'm gonna stamp that off there just a little bit. All right, we'll set you guys aside. Now we're ready to glue. And put our Thames River piece on it. Although the text came from a book on George Washington. I don't know if he'd appreciate having the Thames River on his piece, but or anything about the Queen. Of course, he didn't have a Queen. He had a King. And he had a King that he didn't get along with. Okay, I definitely want you, but I think I also want you guys. And what I like about this particular set of flowers, I know they're shiny, 
which is you know something I don't like, but they're on clear, so you can't. There's no white background behind them. That looks nice, and I think we'll put you right in here. This is a vellum piece. I don't know if the glue stick's going to work on the vellum. I may have to get out the Fabri-Tac for this, but we'll see. There we go. So there we are, day 17 of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. I hope you're having a good time. If you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button to let YouTube know that you like them. And leave a comment down below. Which one of these so far have you liked the best? Which ones do you think still, still need a little bit more? Because I am playing around with a little bit more. I don't like this extra space up here, so I may later on go back and add some things to it. At the end of the month, I'll do a review. I will show you how I am planning to store these and tell you what I'm going to do with all of these 31 postcards. And, and you may see some additions on some of these because I think, you know, after I go back and I look at it a couple days later, I go, oh, you know what? It really needs this. And, oh, I should have done that. And I will play around with it a little bit more. So this is how it's finished for today. It may not be its final appearance. All right, till later, this is Cindy signing off.